are angry, it's okay. I'm not angry. Except when you keep repeating, you're angry. And that shit's fucking annoying. Like a fucking gnat at a barbecue. Just, 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 just bugging the fuck out of me. Good. I want you to say, I'm angry. It's okay. I'll process my anger. I love myself. Wooza. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Episode 23, very special episode. It's going to probably be one of my favorite episodes. Um, I've been talking about going uh, for the whole school episode, so I'm going to do a little bit of that. But first, let me introduce my uh, Haitian brother. We're going to speak about how we met and everything, and you'll, you're going to like it. It's my Haitian brother. His name's Ken. He, um, I'm actually in New Jersey in his basement. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah it's it's been it's been fun so far but uh Haitian brother Ken just wanted people to see how you are hey what's going on yes this is Ken and he is in my basement he goes down <laughs> in the basement uh no that was bad um but yeah you know I'm here and uh I know Macho since 2000 2000 so <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait wait we're gonna we're gonna get to that but uh it's it's funny because um this took us like i had a setup so I, I i've never moved my podcast stuff so it took literally like i felt like it took two hours did it take two hours like, i was trying to set up the lighting i got frustrated because some pieces were missing I'm dozing off and then here. You know, you I talked. I got the I got the guest mic. It's not even working because so now we have to still share this mic. So a little bit frustrated because I was like, it should have been smooth, but it's not. So, but you know, ne things never go smooth here. But like I was telling him, I, I definitely wanted um, I want him to tell his side of how we met, and then I'm gonna tell my side, and then we'll we'll just see how it goes from there. So. Meeting me, how was it meeting me? Like, what, what the first time you noticed me? Like, everything, tell them because we met in freshman year, yeah. I was like freshman year, Ooh, yeah. Uh, freshman year of high school, that's when we met each other. And, yeah. um, but I just want to get, I always like to get people's perspective, like I did with the, the first guest I had, like how we met, what, what did we think of? Because, you know, like, um, like I said, the first guest, he made fun of me, and that's how we became friends. <laughs> but anyway, so just talk about how we met. I'm, I'm just curious to know your side. Yo, to be honest with you, I don't remember exactly how we became friends. Okay, I just me neither. <laughs> yo, to be honest, because I just remember I was, like, I, was a, I was a bit of a loner in high school. Like I didn't really talk to nobody. Right. And then like I remember one of the counselors like told me, yo, just sit on a table full of people and just sit there and they and watch them and I was like, all right. So yeah. I, I scanned the cafeteria and I saw him, our other boy Frank, Chris, and everybody was just talking about wrestling and I was like, I know a little bit about wrestling. So I just sat down, didn't say a word, didn't even introduce myself, just like, hey. And everybody just looked at me and they just go on with the conversation. This is going about three months straight. <laughs> and then our friend Frank just came up to me like, can't say something. I'm like I like wrestling. <laughs> and, then, and Frank, you're going to meet him in, he, in December. There's going to be a December episode. I'm going to get him on here and you're going to meet him. But go ahead, continue. Yeah, so eventually, one like morning, it was just me and him at the table. And we just started talking about uh, wrestling, WWE, Raw, all that stuff. And then... It was WWF at the time. That's how old we are. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was this transition, the transition to WWE. Yeah, we were at WWF time. <laughs> yeah. And then the funny thing happened, like, his cable service cut off the channel where WWE was on. So I was his source. Because this is back then, you know, he couldn't, there was no internet, really. Right. There was no, I don't know what you call it, fire sticks or nothing like that. So you couldn't find, the only way you can find that information is through a friend. And I was that guy. Yeah. So. It was you and Frank, actually. Yeah. My parents are, 
they didn't like paying for cable. I mean, we we're, were the people who actually stole cable. If y'all remember how how that used to be, like I don't know if people are that old enough to remember there was like splicing cable. Those were my parents, so I didn't have those channels, and my parents were too cheap to get them. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So every Tuesday, that was like every Monday night, that was my homework. <laughs> Watch WWE Raw on Monday and report it to him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I had to make sure I get to school the next day, like on time, so he gets to know what happened. He would not. He didn't care about my night. He didn't care about nothing else but what was going on. He like kill count. He my fix. <laughs> what happened that night? I'm like, all right. So I will tell the detail of how I remember it, and then you know, and, that, and ever since then we became friends yeah, until yeah. he finally got his channel back and he barely talked that much. So it was all good. But uh, <laughs> but uh, nah. Uh, so since then we just like became friends, and then I remember it was like a, we okay. You gonna know like in our high school we had this summer program that we had to do. Well, everybody had summer off. We had to go to school during the summer. Whether you had good grades or bad grades, it didn't matter. So, but there's like a gap between. Yeah, this is awful. But we have, we're, this is going to be the school part. We're going to get to this yes. now. So there was like a gap between spring and summer where we don't see each other. So when we saw each other, we were like all excited to see each other. So that's like, okay, we're friends. Right. That's how I know, okay, we're friends now. Because right. he would have been like, yo, whatever, I don't care about you. But he's like, yo, kid, come over, sit over here. I was like, oh, okay, come on. You know. uh, yeah, so okay. that's how how I remember okay. it. That, that's, yeah, that's kind of accurate because... Um, how I remember it's the same thing. Like he said, uh, he sat at the table, and it, it was like that. It was like we all looked at like, uh, who's that? And you know, certain I didn't know who he was, but a lot of people did. Like, oh, that's Ken. That's Ken. That's Ken. I was like, all right, cool. Like, cause I'm not the type of person like you know, I'm friendly. I'm super friendly. You know, I get along with just about everybody. So I was like, all right, cool. And you know, we started talking. But yeah, that's how I think that's that was our connection. Like, yeah. Because um, the wrestling thing, all, all he said, all that stuff about wrestling was true. Like like I said, my parents were very cheap. And um, they always made me do things. I don't know, like, other kids. Like, my parents were like, oh, if you want cable, you got to lose eight pounds. Or something. <laughs> like, they always did something like I had to do. Like, or if we got to get cable. You got to make sure you got to do the lawn, everything. So, like, they always made me work for things. So, like, at a certain point, I'm like... I don't need cable that bad. <laughs> but, like, in those times to fit in with those conversations, like, yeah, I had to have somebody report it to me so I could just, you know, it, it's, it was mainly so I could actually fit in because, you know, everybody had cable and I, I wasn't really, my parents didn't have cable for a while. So I was like, you know, and there were the parents that were like, well, we don't need cable. So, but yeah, I, I agree about how we met. That's how, exactly how we met. And then, no, 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 that's exactly it. Right. And then, you know, we became friends and, uh, you know, we started going over houses and, um, and I that's your family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Your family thought I was you at one point. Yeah. Oh, so if you look at us, right. Mm-hmm. And, um, all through our four years in, in this shitty high school, we're going to talk about, um, they always confuse us. Teachers always confuse us. They said we look alike. At the time, I, I know right now you can't see it because obviously I'm bald, he has hair, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, at the time, we both had a low cut, yeah. right? And we, did I have glasses? Was I wearing glasses? Yeah, you were wearing glasses. I think you just, you started wearing glasses like a senior year, I think. Senior, junior year. But the first two years, you wore glasses. Was, yeah, I, I think, yeah, yeah, it was two years I wore glasses, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, yeah. So we both had glasses and we both had low cuts, you know? So built the same way, basically. Yeah, we kind of have like this similar body shape. So <laughs> it was just funny because like teachers used to give us like they used to give me his uh, uh, test scores and, and like vice versa, and we'd be like, you know, depending on the class, we're like, oh shit, oh man, <laughs> you know. You're like, oh, I'm doing great. Yeah. Like, suck at this subject, and they're like, oh, no, yeah. So they they thought we looked alike, and people get confused, like um, and then when Frank. The guy we're talking about comes on. Like, I call him... I call him and Frank my brother because they kind of grew up with me. I mean, like, they've been to, like, every family event. So, they kind of are my brother. You know what I'm saying? So, But it's just funny when people say, I'm like, yeah, going to my um, brother's house to do a podcast. 
they, you know, and then they, they want to see a picture of my brother and I'll, I'll show them like a picture of him. And they're like, they're like, what happened? Like, <laughs> did your mom sleep around? Like, or it's either they think that or they think I'm talking to you like, He's my brother, like that type of shit. And I'm like, no, let's not get racist here. You know, you boys some racist, but don't get racist. So was, they always think I'm saying like, he's my brother. Like I'm like, nah, man. It's I grew up with him. I'm like, I mean, he knows my family. I know his. You know, so that's why I call him my brother. But anyways, so let's talk about Saint Benedict's <laughs> Saint Benedict's Preparatory. So all right, we were in an all boy. Catholic high school. Yes. And so I want you to go over the overnight. Uh, Same thing. I want to see what you have to say, your uh, experience with the overnight, uh, and I'll, I'll definitely share mine. So for people that don't know what the overnight is, uh, it's, uh, it's when the freshman class that start going to high school, they, uh, they spend a week in this high school campus uh, with the senior leaders. And a bunch of monks. Now that sounds kind of crazy, but it is. It is. It's, it's exactly crazy. <laughs> I, 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 there's no but about it. It's just it sounds crazy. So when we, my first impression when the whole like going applying for the school, everybody was super friendly to you. The recruiter, all this was great. When we get there, they're they our parents are saying goodbye to us. Mm-hmm. Our our counsels, the they oh, we'll take good good care of your son, blah blah blah. Yeah, you thought you were like in like top notch school, like you're like oh wow, everybody's nice and mm-hmm. you know welcoming. But yeah, yeah go ahead. We thought it was gonna be like summer camp. We thought it was gonna be cool. We thought oh you know knew these people, blah blah blah. The minute the last parent left the room, it was like the mood just changed. The teachers, or that one teacher, I forgot his name. <laughs> Mr. Onion? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Onion. Mr. Onion. He cursed the hell out of this one student, all because he was talking over him. Hey, Mr. Onion, if you watch this, if somebody tags you from Benedict's on this, hey, Raphael says, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not going to go Not scared of you anymore. <laughs> scared of you back then, not scared of you anymore. But go ahead. <laughs> I still live in Jersey, so you might be around here. I don't want to. I live in Georgia. Anymore. Come find me. <laughs> Like 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 that video. Come find me. <laughs> what is that, that dating shit. Come find me. Come find me. I'll be yeah. waiting. Uh, anyway, go ahead. So he, so he just cursed the hell out of this one student, and this is the first time me seeing a teacher curse. And I'm not exaggerating. He literally threw f bombs at this kid, and I'm thinking, oh, he's about to get fired. Nope. He just kept going, and next thing you know, all those. Senior uh, leaders that came, the senior students that were leaders, uh, they went from, they changed their mood too. They were like super nice at one time, but the minute at the parents, the parents were gone, they 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 cursed us out too. Yeah, they I mean they they go get up, get up your shit, go to the next room, and I'm like, where are we going? Shut up and go, hit the yeah. walls. Yeah, so we had to do this thing where we had to like drag our shoulders to the wall and oh. hit every corner. Of the campus wall. Every corner. So wherever you walked, your your right sh- shoulder had a drag against the wall. Yeah. Every Ooh. corner. You, you couldn't miss corners. Could God so, forbid if you miss a corner. Yeah. Yeah. They would jump you like. It was the worst. It, it was it was really the worst, and it and it was no lie. Like I I do remember like the last parent left, and you're just like, okay, now what happens next? And then like. There's all this screaming and yelling, and uh-huh. they're, they're throwing your shit around. Yeah, and you're like, "What the fuck just happened?" Man? <laughs> it, 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 it happened like in a split second. Yeah. Like you're like, "What?" You're, the hell? you're regretting every minute of coming. And, and then like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they they locked them doors. I think they chained them. <laughs> it's yeah. like, you can't get yeah, out. Yeah, they, they you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, there was no what? Of freedom. What was... the hell happened? A couple of you cried. A couple of kids. Oh, yeah. cried, a couple of kids cried that night. A lot. A lot of cry. They a cried. Lot. And a lot of people, uh, they quit. They left. They're like, man, I don't know why I didn't quit. I should have quit. Yeah. Be honest with you, but I like, didn't. With me, I was like, I was so in shock. Like, That's what it was, yeah. But, but how, it was like, yeah, I didn't know what it to say. Like I didn't know what to do. I'm like, are these people really screaming at me right now? And, and this, like, yeah. go ahead. And this is like a whole week of disbelief. Yes. It was like, and then. We had a shower at the school. Oh, that was. 
And I, I remember the. I, I think I told talked about this in one of the episodes. I'm like, you literally had a strip at your locker, mm-hmm. and you had to wait in line like half net numb naked, not even half naked. You had to wait in line naked for a shower to open, and you had to work. <laughs> yeah. So you hear like. <clears throat> Back then, no social distancing exists, so we're like literally like cheek to cheek, yeah, or balls to cheek, and it's like waiting for the shower, and we're just like feeling mad uncomfortable. Cause I just met this guy, I don't know who he is, mm-hmm. but I gotta be behind him shirtless, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> with just a towel around my waist, and I don't know this kid, and yeah, it was just like crazy. And they're like yelling. It seems like they're yelling at you to hurry up to take a shower. So he's like, you're oh. trying to lather yourself. But they're like, hurry up, wash your paws and get out. I'm like, dude, like, yeah. Let me, let me, let me do what I gotta do. But anyway, so that was that was the night, the first night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, first night of hell. And then we had to sleep on the gym floor. Yeah. So it was just like between the yelling. And like I like I said, I remember I was getting out of the the, the shower, mm. and there was this group leader just shouting at me to get dressed, and I'm like, dude, I'm drying off, and he's screaming and he's screaming, mm. and he's getting all in my face, and I'm just like, I'm gonna kill this man. <laughs> at one point, you're like, I'm gonna kill this man, but at the same time, you're like, can I kill this man? Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, it was funny, like, they weren't really communicating with each other, so you got one leader yelling at me, and then another guy yelling at me about something completely different. So you got two people telling me two different things, and you're just like, who do I follow? I don't know what to do. And then you're just sitting there confused. Oh, and the worst crazy part was, before we even went to bed, we all had, like, a snack, uh, lunch, dinner thing. And then the monk, one of the monks came with a guitar and started singing Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the weirdest thing. Yeah, yeah. There was this one monk, he was, yeah, weird like that. Like, he got his guitar out, he was singing, like, campfire songs. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, we're grown men. <laughs> like, we weren't grown. We, 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 but yeah. yeah, we were like 13, but we were like, we're, we're past we're Kumbaya. We're past Kumbaya, <laughs> for sure. For sure past Kumbaya, but yeah. But, but we were just like, and I'm just like, he did this, like, for the whole week. He was like, before we go to bed, we're just going to sing Kumbaya. And the, he just busts out the guitar. And I'm just like, where are we? <laughs> where, I didn't know Newark was like this. I never went to school in Newark. I was raised in East Orange, New Jersey. So I'm like, is this how Newark is? So it's like, I didn't know. So, yeah. So that was on the first night. And then... For my Georgia the- listeners, Newark, remember I said Newark is equivalent to College Park. So College Park... <laughs> You know, yeah. that area. It's bad. Yeah. Bad. But East Orange was bad. No, one yeah, of the, like, I don't remember the oranges East like Orange that. Is, but... it's, 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 if it's not bad, then it's bad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, East Orange is not that great. It's not like, but it's like, but it's funny. I always say, like, people go to East, people from North go to East Orange to go, to go on vacation. Like, that's how comparison it was. Like, okay, okay good, good. That makes sense. Yeah. So... <laughs> So what happened after that? Um, well, then, then you know, we started meeting up with teachers and stuff. And then you, like, <laughs> the teachers are all crazy. They were all yelling the same. I remember uh, all the way from, like, you know, my English teacher. Uh, my math teacher was the fucking worst. <laughs> S. Mr. S. Yo! Yeah, 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 yeah Mr. Yeah. S. Yeah, yeah. So he was the worst. Yeah. I mean, they were just all angry Fucking people, and you're like, why are you angry? We just met. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, you know, you don't know anything about me. I don't know anything about you. But you're just screaming at me, and like, it, it was just the worst. It yeah. was in my head. I'm like, my parents are paying you. Like, why am I? <laughs> like, yeah. Like yeah. they're paying you to fucking curse me out. It makes no sense. I don't like high school no more. Yeah. Let me go back to elementary school. That's how and, I felt. And the school was supposed to prepare you for college. So like. The way they had it set up, I guess it was like, you know, like college classes, like you, you switch, you walk around, blah, 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 and stuff like that. But it was just hell. I mean, yeah. freshman year was, of course, the worst. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, the the main dude there, he was called the headmaster. and oh, wow. mm, A title I would never want. <laughs> <laughs> he's still headmaster, dude. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah. But, um... He was like, you know, you know, you think monks, you think like he's supposed to be, they're supposed to be like nice 
angelic people. He was Satan himself. I don't think we ever covered that part. Like the school is run by monks. Yeah, to let you know, like it's run. The, the headmaster, he's a monk, Every, and they all live in that campus. Yeah, it's like a secret hiding building, like a back cave. They all go. There was, I remember, there's like an elevator. They all go in there, and that's where they all sleep at, including him. So I did. So yeah, it was run by uh, Father Ed. That's his name. We all, aka Fred. Yeah, yeah, uh, for short. They all wore the little black robes, and I, I mean. They all, they could have been vampires. Who knows? <laughs> you know, it, it was just odd. And then, like, I wanted to talk about, like, how, like, they brought in a lot of people, let's say, who didn't understand English, who still okay, got yeah. good grades. Yeah. Let me talk about that. So, uh, the school was known for its uh, soccer team. Like, they had the best soccer team uh, in uh, in Jersey. Uh, only because they uh, outsourced a lot of uh, immigrant kids yes. from <laughs> Ecuador, Mexico, you know, all the nice places that have the finest soccer players, but would yeah, you know, would uh, you know, not living the best life. So they can They go definitely not locals. Yeah. <laughs> so they come and recruit them and tell them, hey, you can stay with us. We'll take care of you, and you know, they just throw them in. You know, with the class, and you know, we couldn't speak a lick of English. Actually, I thought Raph was one of those kids because <laughs> I every Hispanic person I saw couldn't speak English. I was like, that I talked to, I was like, and I looked at him, and I'm like, hi, Ken, <laughs> your name, and then he started speaking English. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. all right, so he's one of us, but yeah, uh, not the first time that's happened to me, too. <laughs> Sometimes I meet people, I'm I just observe mm. how you are like how, how you're talking to me and stuff so sometimes I won't say anything and a lot of people think I'm mute or I don't speak English <laughs> <laughs> but really it's my brain processing the type of person you are yeah. and how I'm responding and shit like that but yeah right. it's not the first time that happened to me but go ahead yeah so what they did they took those kids uh, and they couldn't speak in like English and we always had to find a way to communicate. So you had a bunch of kids from Newark, East Orange, that was kind of ignorant in their own way. And we didn't care about these kids that didn't speak English. But we did care because they were one of us. But at the same time, we would crack on them. Well, I didn't. But, you know, that was like the nature of high school. You just get on people. Yeah. But they were considered. But since soccer was like. They're number I, one. Yeah. If they're like priority. Like, that was their number one priority. And at the same time, like every soccer player was pretty much like the biggest jock star there. So it was like, even though they couldn't speak like English, like you know, they they had the Varth, the Letterman jacket. They were the coolest kid, but they didn't understand a word of English or how things work around here. So that was one interesting life. Like, like how the hell you the cool kid and you can't speak English? But it's like. And you yeah. got the worst grades. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somehow you get to you end up in the fucking elite leagues later on in life. Mm-hmm. But, Corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. But th- there was a part, let's go back to the yeah. the the overnight. So I right, there's the overnight where we had to sleep over at the school, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um what was I got? Dim- <laughs> this is what happens, man. I was too ahead of myself. I was going to talk about... What the fuck I was going to talk about the overnight? I wanted to go back to the overnight. Uh, the teachers? Besides the teachers. What else did we do? Oh, that's what it was. All right, so... The Kumbaya, that's what was yeah. getting me. But we had to learn these songs, these school songs. Oh, yeah. And there was a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, there was one that was very easy. It was like the same word over and over and over. <laughs> Uh, boola, boola, yeah, the bula bula, yeah. Boola, boola. <laughs> but um, yeah, we had to learn these school songs, and then like in order to get our school colors, I remember we had to go. I was in this room. Oh yeah. And then they, they give you like this test, like says, name the school song or name ten of the head ma- fathers or whatever the fuck it yeah. was. I don't even remember, but yeah. And then like to earn your school colors, mm-hmm. you had to get that right, and then you take off your shirt. I remember. I, <laughs> I, w- I was 
I still am super insecure about taking off my shirt. So I was like, I was in the office and there was just all these dudes in there just staring at me. Mm-hmm. It was like, take off your shirt. And I was like, no, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> they had a, It was one of those things that they had to tell me like three times. And I'm just like, give me the fucking Bumblebee shirt, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> it was a gym shirt. That's what it was? It was our gym clothes. That was the colors we had to earn. Our gym oh, clothes. okay. So basically we had to go. In, it was, we went to the first room with our group team. We had to get stripped down to our underwear. My yes. Dad, yes. Had, can we curse at this? Fuck yeah, you okay. can. Curse <laughs> um, all the time. I say bad word. So I, I had to wear the fucking... I was still wearing the underwear with the dick holes. You know? Mm-hmm. The dick hole open. And, but, so I had to like, keep it closed. So I didn't want nobody to see my dick, basically. So, like, they're asking me questions. Shirtless. I got man boobs. <laughs> they were huge things. So, the whole time, I feel like they were looking at my man boobs that they were asking me questions. Yeah. And I'm just... And I'm, Super uncomfortable. And I'm grabbing my crotch and I want to look at my penis. I don't want five grown men looking at my penis because I felt... It was like it. fucking reverse casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> like a bad porn it was just you go in there and it's like you're getting interviewed they tell you to strip down naked and then you just like i'm like what's gonna happen next because i saw this i saw this on the hub so i know what happens next this shit ain't happening to me <laughs> fucking reverse casting couch we had to go through So the our colors he was saying we had to earn, it was just based on gym clothes that we all lost eventually throughout the thing because we didn't have locks in our lockers. Yep, and I was going to tell you to mention that. Mention so, locks on the lockers. We yeah. did not have lockers on yeah. lockers because their motto was... What was their motto? I don't know. Whatever hurts your brother hurts me. So yes, 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 yes. Whatever hurts your brother hurts me. So we're not supposed to uh, steal from each other's lockers. Mm-hmm. Yet, every time I had Chuck Taylor's Never had them the second day. <laughs> no matter how much pairs. I went through four pairs. Mm-hmm. It came to the point where they stole so many pairs in my Chuck Taylors that I stopped going to the gym. I was like, I don't yeah, I don't know how to look. People keep stealing my shorts. Yeah. They steal my shirt. They steal my shoes. And there's nothing we can do about it because there's no locks on lockers. And we can't. There's no cameras, I guess. Right? There was no not, cameras, right? No, we were in the basement of the gym. Right. So it was like, no one didn't see anything. And then you're literally watching a kid going through every... Locker looking for gym clothes because he can't miss gym, and I'm just like, and I'm seeing him go through my gym. I let, I let him uh, go through my locker because I didn't know I had no gym clothes, so I didn't see the point of trying to stop him. <laughs> so, I don't got no gym clothes. You can check. <laughs> like, I'll be surprised if I did. Yeah. So, like, uh, if I had pictures of me back then, like you see, my book bag was filled with all my books. Like I never kept nothing in my locker. I literally wore everything on my like back. That. I mean, every, yeah, right? All our book bags were, like, fucking this wide. <laughs> it was insanely wide. Like, we'd be walking because you couldn't put anything in your locker because it wouldn't be there. Books, mm-hmm. I mean, pens, anything, they'll steal it. So, I never kept anything in my locker. Also, it was like, we never had time to, like, go to the lockers. Like, we always had to go to the next class. And the locker was so out the way. Like, we'd be on the seventh floor where all the classes are, but our, our locker rooms are like in the basement and down the cellar in another building. So in order for we would it took like 20 minutes to get from the class to our locker. So we didn't see the point that everybody was bring all their uh, their stuff in their in their book bags. And then you see people uh, <laughs> play that stupid game uh, where they flip your book bag. Yeah, <laughs> man. I don't know if you guys had this game in your school, but in our school... Uh, they would flip book bags. They would flip your book bag inside out and put all your stuff in. So, like, if you're in class, you're paying attention, you're taking notes, and then, you know, it's time to get out of class, you grab your book bag, you're ready to go to the next class, and oh, shit, it's flipped. <laughs> and I got hit every day with it. And, like, I couldn't... They always get me. No, I, I only I... got once. They only got me once because I, I normally just kept it by my foot. So, if, if they... Pulled my bag, they would be pulling my foot. So yeah. that's how I, that's I, how I did. Yeah, know. I wasn't that smart back then. I I had like an idiot. I'll just leave my book bag right behind me and just go about my day. And then by the end of class, I, I realized they flipped. And the worst part is they all laughing at me at, like right at the end. So I'm just like, yeah. And it's super annoying, especially when you have to go to the next class right. and you're like 
fucking motherfucker. Sounds like you didn't have time. You just had to like grab that and hold it like this. And just walk, walk to the big side. And you just getting laughed at because you got your back flipped. Oh, yeah, man. So annoying. So, it was the worst. That, uh, what else we had to do with that school? What else? Um, so The, the uh, worst things about the school. The trail. The trail. Okay. Uh, that was what was that? That was... Before freshman year, after freshman year, during freshman year? That was during freshman That was how I was supposed to graduate to sophomore year. Okay. So a lot of people would take final tests and stuff like that. No, we had to walk a trail. Yes, the Appalachian Trail. You look at I don't know how many fucking miles it is. Yeah. Let's just look it up. So we had, to, it was like a month of training for this trail. Um, everybody, it was like a group of six boys in each team. And each person was, had a... An assignment, a title. Uh, there was the the navigator, the chef, the uh, I don't know. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. It was like whatever. cook. There was a cook. There was the, the person, the medic. <laughs> yeah, and then you had the captain, mm-hmm. and they made me captain, not because they saw captain uh, qualities. qualities in me. No, I was, none of that. They did yeah. it because, frankly, I there was a time like I. They were acting a fool. I wanted to go home, so I told them, like, "Yo, can y'all just shut the hell up so we could go home?" And like, "Oh, you want to be captain?" I was like, "No, I want no, no. We're gonna make him captain." So they made me captain, and I was like, "I'm gonna be the worst captain ever." And I remember <laughs> they announced all the captains that come to the front of the the stage or whatever, and I walked up, and I remember Raph was like, "What the hell, can't do nothing." <laughs> and like, it's like, yeah, and I just and I looked at it and was like. I got sucked to be a captain. So, it was the worst three weeks. It was a captain with three guys that bullied me. Yes, I got bullied. Uh, one guy got was even twice as big as me. He bullied me. I, I punched the hell out of him one time. And I remember I ran like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I did yeah, a hit yeah. and run. Uh, I think it was Tyshawn. Tyshawn, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. I remember that. I still look him up and he's still as big as hell. So, Tyshawn, if you see this... Fuck you. Um, <laughs> but, uh... Yes, bullying back then was still an all-boys school. Fuck yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I think I was never physically bullied, but, like, uh, I know a lot of people went after me because I was fat, so mm-hmm. they uh, they had fat jokes, but I also had jokes because, you know, know, at that time, you know, I already heard all the fat jokes, so I already had uh, some snappy comebacks yeah. myself, so... Nah, they... they... They hit me with the insults and sprinkle a little physical, physical. No, physical they never got over. physical. But uh, not saying like I was some fucking you know UFC fighter back in the day, but they just <laughs> didn't get physical with me. They just made know. fun of my appearance. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. but me, they wanted to. Oh, I could knock him out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I feel like we got off topic. Always off topic here. <laughs> Always off topic. <laughs> but uh, damn, what were we talking about? The overnight. Okay, yeah, the overnight. No, no, the trail. The trail, yeah. We're talking about the trail. So yeah, I'm not angry. <laughs> That's how we do it, people. That's how we do it. The trail. So, so go ahead. We we're doing the trail. We're practicing this trail thing. So we go for like it's it's, it's a month uh, uh, class, I guess you could call it. Uh, so the first week we do like two to two nights. We're at the trail, and then another two the next week, and then the third week or fourth week, we go for a whole week in the trail. So, but I think we broke it down for days. So, like, one half half the class will go on the Sunday, the other half will go on the Monday. I went on a Monday. I wish I went on the Sunday so I could be home early, but no, that wasn't the case. Before he goes on, because I didn't go through this experience, there was like a, two overnights, I guess, mm-hmm. before you did the full trail, mm-hmm. and um. I remember I got out of it. <laughs> I used my brilliant acting Son skills. Of a bitch. And that's when my, you know, my whole acting came. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like uh, I remember I was looking at my friends that were in my group and um Frank, uh, the guy we were talking about, I remember looking at him, I'm like, Hey man, watch this. And you know, I was like, I pretended I had asthma. I was like, <gasps> And I was selling it because I, I I really had people believing I had asthma and I didn't. And I just kept telling them, I was like, watch this, watch this. And I kept doing it. He was laughing. Anyways, the so-called medic there, his name was um, Mr. Cassidy. He said, I did have asthma, which I did. 
<laughs> not at all. He believed it. He was like, oh my God, you're hyperventilating. He put me on the bus and let's just say, never had to do the fucking drills. <laughs> I should have because I, you know, I was overweight and I was out of shape. So I should have went on the trail and did it. But I never had to do it. So like they just passed me. They were like, hey, this kid can't do this trail. He has asthma. Don't have asthma. I'm just a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> Miss my calling in life. And yeah, so I never went through the trail. So I don't know. You know, go ahead. So this is going to be new to me too because I never went through it. I think I just re- I remember that. I was like, that son of a bitch. He got yeah. out of it. Yeah, a lot and, of people were like that. But a lot of them had to, still had to like make up for it. So they had to do like at least a week during like the fall season where it's even colder out there. Yeah, I didn't have to do that. It just passed me. <laughs> but, nah, so... It's funny. I went there. I went for the whole week, but I didn't finish the week. Because I had these crazy... Blisters. blisters on my feet. Not only blisters... That, that wasn't just him. A lot of people I saw had that. Mine was crazy. And it's affecting me to this day. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah. Damn. It's like I have dry skin in that area for the rest of my life. Like, I got to put extra, like, fucking... Lotion <laughs> TMI, I don't care. But <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I remember I had a whole bunch of blisters. Not only that, I had a dead toenail. Damn. I didn't know that could happen. Yeah, me neither. I remember I took I never took off my shoes when I was out there. I was yeah, afraid. And, and for a lot of us, this is the first time we're fucking doing a trail. Yeah. You know, and this I mean this this has some mileage on it, right? Yeah. So if you weren't in shape and you weren't used to that shit, it was brutal. I mm-hmm. mean, you think I mean, you're just walking through a woods? Like no, it's 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 like a lot of levitation. It's high trails. It was low trails. It was rocky trails. The rocky would be the worst because if your ankles are not strong enough, like you know, you, your ankles gonna be working overtime trying yeah. to keep you stable. And, and anything incline is just is just it's brutal. Yeah, it is brutal. Yeah. And, and so, then you got all your gear on too. Yeah. You got all the shit you need. You know, to survive out there, and then you know whatever your skill was, you had to carry stuff. Like, I must have been a damn cook or something, because I had the pots and shit. I don't know why I was carrying the pots and all that shit. So I must have been a cook or something. But like, like I said, I got out of it. But yeah, uh, but yeah, I did like three nights, and I remember I did the fake. I, I did something else. I forgot what I did. I just got I just told them I was sick. I didn't feel like doing this no more, and. Lucky one of the teachers that drove up to visit randomly, he was going back home. So I got his car and he took me back to the, the school. But I had to find my way back home. Damn. So I had to take the public transportation back. It's funky as a word trail. Got like, it looked like yes, it was, we were funky as hell. Remember, we're out there in the trail. Yeah, for like four days. No, no fucking shower and none of that bullshit. And this summer ish kind of weather. So, you know, we must. We big musty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we go up there. I mean, I'm, I'm home. Like, I'm on the tri- on the bus. Everybody look at me funny. Like, where the hell this kid came from? Dirt, all that stuff. Yeah. I get home. Mind you, like, again, I've been out there four days straight. I didn't know. Didn't change my clothes because I was too afraid. Cause I felt like those guys were going to try to rape me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, was afraid. I was afraid. I thought my team was gonna rape me one day. And one of them, one day, they almost did. They did not rape me, but they tried to jump me while I'm trying to change my clothes in the tent. Big Tyshawn, he came out. He just bum rushed me in the vent in the tent. He, man, I just finished changing my clothes. What the fuck? And he was like, "Oh fuck, I just missed it." I'm like, "Missed what?" And he stormed out. I'm like, "Yeah, shit bro. got a little weird, man." Yeah, yeah. I think being in the all boys school. Like, there was some certain dudes that, you know, claimed they were straight. But, I mean, there was a lot of, you know, oh, nut grabbing in that yeah. fucking school. And I was like, hey, man, a what the fuck's going on? Out. A few of them did come out. A yeah. few of them did, yeah. Uh, but then some you kind of knew they yeah, were, yeah, you know, all along. Anyway, you saw Cassidy? He's, he's gay. I did not. Mr. Cassidy? Yeah. I did not know that. He posted his wedding. He looked like he married one of the students. I don't know if we could talk about this down here, but definitely going to ask him about it after. Yes. But, uh, yeah. Holy crap. I didn't know that. I'll show you the, I'll show you the pictures later. But, uh, it was, oh, yeah. A, yeah, I didn't know he was getting, but hey, congrats uh, to him. I'm on pretty that. sure there was a lot of dudes who, like, you know, they try to act rough and tough, but yeah, they definitely like some boys. Yeah. So, for uh, sure. 
For sure, for sure. Yes, I just remember going home, dirty as hell. You know, under clothes, nasty. I burned them suckers. I didn't even bother trying to wash them. Yeah, me too. Me too. Whatever I had during that trail, I got rid of because it was like ticks and all that shit. Yeah. So whatever I had, I was like gone. Yeah. And gone. I remember like going down to my feet and I just saw one toenail looking gray. I was like, why is my toenail gray? This is weird. No. Looking at it, and next thing you know, it just came off. I'm like, oh. I freaked out. I just called my brother. <laughs> I don't know, that was my first reaction. I called my brother. And then he saw that. He's like, he first reaction, he's like, are you scared? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm scared. I'm about to lose my toe. <laughs> like, this school made me lose my toe. Yeah. That was, like, that was my first reaction. Um, I mean, and that's just all freshman year. Yeah. So you could imagine the rest of the years there. I mean, it, it was just a brutal mm-hmm. thing. But I do want to switch topics real quick because mm-hmm. we could we could bash the school anyway. But I do want to do a couple parts to this because I, I want you know Frank to come on and I want him to tell him his part. But I do want to talk about uh, how he was the friend, right? I was the episode I was talking about. I think it was porn. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to do it while he's here. But okay. The porn episode. So I, I saw that episode. So he saw that episode. He has some some stuff to say. First of all, I did not alphabet. I didn't put my in alphabetical order. <laughs> my computer did. <laughs> all right. Had a categorized porn <laughs> list. My, my computer did all that for me. I didn't. Set, I didn't type like a. Big ass B, I interracial, (laughs) it just this is how it's set up. Yeah. So, but yes, I am the guy that had all the the porn. I find that hilarious. He's like, he just wanted to say it. I didn't want to say it. It was a glorious collection. I'll say it. He tried to be like me. I wanted to download his. Like, yeah, let me get this on my computer. He had some scenes on there like, that I couldn't find. I couldn't download myself. I was like, yeah, I want that scene. And a lot of them were, uh, it was this girl named Obsession. I'm going to put her on the screen. So you can see, I'm going to find it. Uh, a nice clean picture that I could put on her on the screen oh, so you can see. Obsession. Obsession. That was one of the ones, you know, he introduced me to. He introduced me to a whole bunch yeah. of shit. The funny with her, she was like, she was like the cutest or anything like that. It was just, she, her performance was just hilarious to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially with a Yeah, she people. didn't have like the, the, she was like thin. She was super thin. thin, no no chest, nothing. But it yeah. was just something about her. Was, yeah, yeah. I see why you call your obsession. Okay. Yeah, something about her. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that one scene where, uh, you know, who was yes. us laughing. He's dead, all right? No, he's not dead. He's not dead? No, he, he had cancer, but he's good. Oh, okay. I was about to say, well, this is this <laughs> one <laughs> black porn star. And if you guys know any black porn stars, his name is Wesley Pipes, and, I, and and that's all I should say. And you should be like, "Oh, yes. okay." You should know how. To have. If you don't know, look it up. You don't know why. Yes, he's the most talkative, talkative black yeah, porn think, star I've ever met. I think he's the first person that ever, 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 ever talked shit during sex. Like, the, I think he's like the first one that ever started it. Yeah. Like you can say this to a girl. Like. Yeah, I think he invented dirty <laughs> talk. <laughs> like he invented the, that was a dirty talk. He was just talking shit. Like, yeah. That was, he was straight trash talking. Yeah. Like you ain't shit. You know. Like, okay. Like, damn, <laughs> like I don't go too graphic with it, but it's, it's, like, it's yeah. like too much. But uh, yeah, I was that guy. Uh, yeah. it was, it, but, like now I look back at it, it was weird because like. Going to your house and be like, hey, let me see what some new scenes you got. <laughs> it sounds weird now, especially these days, right? But back in the day, it was just a thing. You were yeah. like, hey, what you got? What's new? I'll show you. <laughs> Put a passcode like that. I'm like, what's the new aspirate that's out? <laughs> but yeah, those were good times, man. Good times. But yes, I am that guy. So. Whoever was wondering, 
That's me. <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. What else? Uh, well, right now we're recording. This is late. This is the latest yeah. I ever recorded. It's <laughs> it's eleven fourteen mm-hmm. at night, the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah. So like, I already had a full day. I had to actually work, which sucked. <laughs> sucked. I, I, I'm in New Jersey, but I still had to work. So. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, I had to work, and then you know the traffic here. I'm not used to it. It was it was brutal. Yeah. And it's then, a- Chilling with my dad. He lives out here. He's driving me all over the place. <laughs> Shut out the pops. I yeah. That made crazy he watches man. this, so. Oh. Hello, we pops. We gotta watch you're like say. around the corner from me. Yeah. Literally mm-hmm. eight minutes away. It's not an invite. I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 yeah. I never. What else? What else? What else? I mean. Whenever, whenever I drop the fucking fitness thing, I know I talk about this all the time, but whenever I drop that video, I, I was going to mention them. So now you could put a face to the name. Um, yes. You know, he's the one who uh, who's going to, you know, keep me motivated because there's a time where I'm just like, I don't want to do this shit no more. I'm just, I'm done. But, you know, he helps me. Like, I, I tell him what to do. I, t- I actually tell him. Send me a video every time you're working out so I can just, you know, it helps me. I don't know why it does, but it does. But, um. And vice versa. Yeah. So. Also, uh, I'm at, uh, my company, Fat Swole. Uh, yes. 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 I'm also the CEO, president, and, um, founder. Founder of Fat Swole. Yes. Um, glad you glad, mentioned that. Uh, Ralph is. Uh, one of my first customers that was probably wearing his shirts. Yes, uh, I, I wore some on the the podcast, and I'll post some stuff up. I'll, I'll post this page so you can see it up here yeah. or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's kind of I'm kind of on the ground with it. it was, everything's in, still in the works because I'm still trying to figure things out. I don't yeah. know anything about business or marketing. I just came up with this idea and I said, let me just go for it, see what happens. Yeah. So it's been like three years in the making now. Uh, Let's look out for it. I'm, I'm working on it, and uh, hopefully things will, you know. Yeah, because you're gonna change some stuff up. A bit, yeah, right? I'm trying to change some stuff, and also I'm trying to see how I can appeal the the, the women out there because you know they don't want to wear something that says "fat swole" on them. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I still gotta have the name, but I don't want them to walk around with something that says "fat swole," which I find that weird because they used to deal, you know, when they used to wear juicy across the ass, but they yeah, don't wear yeah, fat yeah, swole. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. But you know, the girls don't want to wear that. So I'm trying to find ways to like appeal to the to the women out there, and also try to make sure the quality of the clothes are good. So that's uh, important. Now, let me tell you something, and this is gonna suck to admit this. There's some people that I've put some support into that I'm like the quality of the clothes, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, just fell apart. I mean, literally the those sweatpants that I got one day wearing them. Fucking all the thread down the middle Jesus. just came out, and then I have a, a hoodie. The threads were just coming out, and I'm like, oh man. So like, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. So I'm trying not to let that happen to me. So that's why, I, if you look at my uh, Instagram and whatnot, you don't see that much posting. Cause like, I kind of make sure I'm good in terms of quality. So uh, like, I don't want to put out a whole bunch of stuff and it comes out trash. Still, that'll be a waste of money. So, yeah. Just look out for that. I'm working on it. Uh, if anybody wants to, you know, model, you know, give me little pointers out there, you know, hit me up. Uh, I mean, do him. Yeah, hit yeah, me hit up. me up. I mean, um, I, I always wear his stuff, and like I said, the, the quality is good. I wear it all the time, and, like, I do a lot of weird shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it's holding up, you know, yeah. and it's, it's also, you know what it is, too? There's another one. Where I, I washed it once and all the fucking the lettering and designs <laughs> came out. I'm like, so how the fuck was I supposed to clean this? I just, yeah. I just went through one wash. His, you know, I, like I said, I wear it when I work out. I do it a lot. So and it's been through several washes and it still holds and the color's still there. So, yeah, the yeah. quality is definitely a thing that you got to look out for. Yeah, so that's in the works. Um, yeah, it's called Fat Swole. It's for people that works out daily. 
I mean, you go through social media, you see people working out, they got the six pack, they look like gods and goddesses, and everybody thinks, oh, everybody at the gym looks like that. Like, no. Everybody looks like Keep it us. real, realistic. Look like, everybody looks like everyday folks, all that stuff, so. Real dad pods. Yeah. Like I told y'all about, not, <laughs> not these these guys with, you know, the six pack and the V, and they're, they're calling that yeah. dad bod. That's not a dad bod. No. So, but yeah. Uh, this is for the people that's dad buys, everyday people that work out, and you know that's you know they're trying to just you know live a healthy life. They ain't trying to be in the p- biggest you know trying trying to compete. I would say, but you know they just want to look good. They want to look good and wearing a nice shirt and you know maybe butt naked, but you know nothing too crazy. <laughs> nothing too crazy. So that's yeah. what fat soul kind of represents. I will do better work on the marketing. Trust me, that was a lot. That was a mouthful, but you know, it's working. Yeah, like I said, I'll put his information up so you guys can see that. But um, that's about it, man. We we went past our mark, <laughs> but that's cool, man. I hope you guys get entertained. And you hear, you know, like if I would have explained all this shit by myself, you guys probably be like, oh, he's lying. He's just trying to make it up for the damn podcast. But no, mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah. I could I could bring in five other dudes that went into that school, and I'm pretty sure they'll tell similar stories, yeah. if not worse. <laughs> yeah, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm man. pretty sure we missed a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sure Frank, if Frank decides to come, like he'll he'll tell his detailed stories. But yeah, like, he's a better storyteller than than us. So for yeah. sure he is, hands <laughs> down, hands yeah. down. I, I was fumbling a bit throughout this, but you know, Frank will Frank will break it down to you better. So. Yeah. Shout out to Frank. But anyways, yeah, shout out to Frank in December. He's, it's going to be a December, probably a January episode, actually, because, okay. you know, depending on the day, we do it. But <clears throat> anyways, guys, uh, hope you liked it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. My eyes are closing because it's past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I'm out at... 8 o'clock every night I'm sleeping and I'm way past that so but um thanks Ken for being on here this was awesome thanks for having me this was perfect thanks for joining me in my basement yes in the basement (laughs) Rap City in the basement and let's see if y'all remember that (laughs) if you remember that you're cool anyway guys uh as always I will see you on the next one later later Angry? I think it's funny. <laughs>